at Cool Ray Field up in Gwinnett. Georgia Tech return fire the season high 23 runs in a win here at Mackney's Park last April. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball boring in on the hands. Browns went sharply and passed the shortstop Green. Off the plate, a runner goes, throw is offline. Dug on the in-between hop, though, and the tag laid by Bacchetti for the out. And he has lived up to the billing early in his Georgia Tech career. And another one, belted deep in the left. No doubter, Drew Burris. And the hype is not subsiding anytime soon. Yeah, and you never, you're never sure what it's going to look like until the lights come on, and so far, so good. We've seen that left field power alley be, be comfortable for him. We've also seen him go opposite field, but that one right there looked like a ball middle of the plate, right where he likes it, on time, completely backspun out to left center field, did not miss a stitch on that one. 452 feet to left field. For the freshman Drew Burris, who I don't think took kindly to that 0 for 5 stat line on Sunday. The 3 2. Grounded in the left base hit. Bichetti saw it deep, and he's aboard to lead off the Georgia Tech second. But believe particularly at the plate as he waits on the 3 2. This could be two. Ruiz slings to second. The turn, the throw to first, not in time. Evens account. Line drive caught behind the bag by Donahoe. That where they're throwing enough strikes. Guided down the first base line, and that bounces on the line. And it hops into the bullpen. Oh, that could have tucked into the corner. Maybe scored some Marzalak from first, but he will have to hold up at third. Kind of that auto take. Grounded to short. Backhanded by Ruiz. And the throw is on time. So Brocious bounces out. Jacket strand a pair. And that ball is crushed again. Does it die out at the track? Nope, forget about it. He makes it look almost too easy. Just, so he saw back-to-back -back breaking balls. The second one, he had a little bit of flinch. I was wondering if McManaman was going to go back to the well a third time. He does. This one, actually, as far as location, might be the best one down in the zone. But after you see it a couple times, a hitter like, like Burris, you see there, a little bit of a hanger. He puts another good swing on it. And he has such power to the pool side, as we talked about earlier. Two, two at-bats, two home runs. No balls, one strike to Peyton Green. And he stings one into center. Took advantage of the hanger from McManman. Yeah, very clear. And the 3-1, low it in, and Ellis takes his base. To not allow the hitters to get in any sort of routine. So far today, another nice block. And a throw down to third, and under the tag is Green. He's safe. Wow, from the, as we were watching this play out live, Dial another really nice block. This time he's able to corral it to his glove side. Ground ball past the dive of Ruiz. Skips into center, RBI Bichetti, 3-0 Georgia Tech. Yeah, Bichetti not trying to do too much right there. This is for James Ramsey in the portal. This one hit a mile high. Ruiz ranging back, win pushing it out, and it drops down. They call the infield fly. Exotic ruling that you were part of, if you can remember. Banged out towards short. Ruiz. Strong throw. Gets Lackey. Gets the Panthers out of the inning. All these guys. Sinking into left center. Lead off base hit for Jackson. Uh, I'm sure all these guys had a chance pregame to, if, if not, they will postgame to say hello. And starting to stir a little bit as we get close to that pitch count. Nice slide. Oh, throw here. back uh. to Lackey and gunned out at first. Caught Jackson leading. Base is empty, two away for Mize. Knocks it behind first. Jones ranges over. will take care of it himself. Appeal, and then I also think it's it's unlikely, as Brocious draws ball four right there, I also think it's unlikely. It takes a lot for that to be overturned. A look back and the pitch, and again, nowhere close. 75. Bangs one up the middle. Charging is Donahoe. Nice flip, but not wow. in time. And it looks like that flip took the shortstop Ruiz off the bag, so everybody's safe and they're loaded. Dart out of the strike zone, try and get a strikeout. 
Popped up. Right center, Colder. Jackson converge. Colder camps underneath it. Brocious tags from third. And the throw skips into the mound. Sack fly, RBI. Green drives home Georgia Tech's fourth run. A stretch in the one two. Cut on and missed. This is for the first time since 2011. And that is in there. Strike three at the knees. Big pitch. Now was looking there, for something yeah. else. On a wild pitch. Lunging and missing. Three pitches and down he goes. Battered is keyed in in the fifth. Slow roller, cut off, diamond, slinging it. Nicely done. But they were third in the nation last year in doubles per game, fourth in average. As that ball is tattooed by Bacchetti out towards center, Kohler turns his back and is out of here and over the batter's eye. Wow. Yeah, off the bat, he seemed to be pretty sure of it. I couldn't get a good read on how it was going to fly from back here. But I think that might be his best bullet right there, Andy, over the the batter's eye in center field, and, and if you're doing that, you're putting a good swing on it. 420 feet, yes, wow. he smoked it, and Georgia Tech has the 5 nothing lead. Yeah, yeah, got all of this one. You could tell, gets it good. Yep, he knew it to get ready. And the 3-2 is in there on the inside corner. Breezes Strickland. Battles back from the 3-1 count for the first out of the sixth. 156 career starts at Davidson. And he takes strike three looking. And that's another example. That's a slider, backdoor slider from McKee. Quiet afternoon as another 3-2 is on the way. And another strike three looking. Backwards K's across that sixth inning. If he doesn't, he's shown to be really patient. As you see right here, ball four, he'll take his base, try and get some good, good reads. And if he can take second, he will to set Burris up for a good opportunity with runners in scoring position. When you've started... Ooh, watch out, that one is ripped down the right field line, sailing, and gone! Just over the 334 side, opposite field, and it's a three home run day for Drew Burris. Yeah, I was about to say, when you started the way he has today, you can, you can get by with that mustache, and with one more swing, he makes his day even better. Almost a little bit of... Uh, um, if you keep, if, I don't know if we'll see it. Look, he's hanging on. Stay fair, stay fair. And then I think he realized that's going to stay true enough. Just tucks it in that right field corner. And when you're going good, you're going good. It, he's, we, he's seen power foul pole to foul pole. Now the payoff pitch. And it's Yanks to the backstop. Lackey leads off the Tech seventh with a walk. Only time uh, Burris did not get a home run today. Skips in. Oh. Wet, Lackey off to the races, and he is... Good tip of the mask to him. That one hits Brocious. And so the inning continues. One, two, high drive. Does it have enough to the track, to the wall? There it goes. History for Burris. A four home run game. It's never been done in Georgia Tech. And it comes from a man. It is eighth career game. Touch them all, Drew Burris. You've made history. Unreal. Unreal. That looked like another maybe splitter. You can see the tumble on it that stayed up in the zone. He was out in front, gets his foot down. And off the bat, I, I, the question was, did it have enough? We knew it was high, kept traveling. Unbelievable. Swept deep in the hole. Nice Diving play. stop by Mize. Well, that was impressive just to get it to first, but Minnick beats it out. As, as much as it, talent goes into it, fortunate to, to how, how fortunate is he that won the right field line state fair? Here's Carson Sabathia. Sky behind first. Drifting into the grass and short right. And Boynton again makes the catch. Up for a little less leverage and a little less just off, outside. Yep, off the plate, and the walk loads him up. As Mattella deals. That one skips behind Hudson, the catcher. Allows the run to coast in. Georgia Tech now 10. Payoff on the way to Diamonds. He lays off, takes ball four, and they're loaded again. Yeah, and it, it's, 
you're not only just trying to find three starters. We talked about them. And the pitch from Coleman. Rounded towards short. Love by Ruiz. He'll take the long way. And that'll do it. And his tech staff. Nice inside out cut. And Williams lines the single to left. Really nice piece of hitting in your first at bat. Banged out towards short. Backhanded glove flip, but unable to be squeezed by Curse. And everybody is saved. Bichetti trying to put some sauce on that. You see him frustrated with himself. Clips the outside corner, strike three, and down he goes. Nice pitch right there by Thomas. Range where they're going to look for him to keep games tight. Swing and a miss. Quickly two outs as Boynton is set down on three pitches. I'm going to reclaim some of that ceiling that got him to Columbia in the first place as Jero's charges from third, and that'll do it. Georgia Tech gets the shutout, but this night was about the center fielder, Drew Burris, who lit up MACD's baseball park for a record four home runs, a feat never done before in the illustrious annals of Georgia Tech baseball. Solos in the first and third, and two run shots in innings six and seven.